Oh boy. Why don't you care about leveling the stuff you're wearing? Well, my weapons I can't. All of these are maxed out until I get until I get the other the other stuff. The only thing I can wear is the or upgrade is the armor, and even then I think I'm on galvanized upgrades for the armor too. So these can only go up a level or two each. Maybe three. I don't know. I don't know how far along they are. But I think they're requiring galvanize as well. What is this? Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh... Ah, these are priceless artifacts. Um... Brother, I don't know. Um... Guess I should have looked at this, huh? In his 12th season, Hakan Majir directed an assault on Greece Warren, where uh, Emin Lord Drac had cast Majir's mother, Rala, out into the cold so many seasons before. Majir became separated from his warlords. After wandering for hours within the Warren's tunnels, the warlords found Majir standing atop the corpses of a thousand Emir warriors, having lost one hand yet holding Drax's head aloft with the other. Since that day, Majir wore Drax's skull as a reminder to his people and a warning to his foes. Drax's body was piked at the Warren's entrance, the crown placed atop his torso along with the words... Uh, Rala's Vengeance. Okay. Well, there's eight of them in total. We've already gotten one wrong. I mean, I feel like this is a hint. I just don't know what type of hint it is. Twelfth uh, season. So... That doesn't matter. Um, this is a day... Body was piked at the Warren's entrance, and the crown placed atop his torso, along with the words "Rala's Vengeance." Okay, so I mean, it's not really—I don't know, man. I feel like that's one of those things where you have to go to those areas to figure out like what you have to do in order to access it. Ooh, hold on, what do we got here? Three months. 25 days. Uh, Sildur is lost. Blood Den is barren. Eularala, a tomb. Does Sildur follow Majir's path still? Before his victory at Gris Warren, the day his mother, Holy Rala, breathed her last, Majir christened our people Riki and swore vengeance on the Emin. Majir had 10 seasons then. Uh, Rala died in a secluded glen, birthplace of the Riki, forerunner of the Wen Ring. A holy place, yet none know its true location. Sildur wanders the woods, seeking hope, finding hunger. Sildur is lost. That's not like a hint either. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. <sighs> Go hit buttons, I guess. I mean, if we lose the armor, oh well. Not super. I mean, the, the only thing that said was like three months. So this is what I'm guessing is three. Incorrect. <laughs> uh, 
Well... Another one down the hatch, right? Yep. All right. Well, then we'll press all of them. <laughs> there must have been like a super specific order you needed to press them in or something. Wow. What what treasures await? <laughs> uh. All right. Well. Nice. Thanks, man. Thanks. I'm so uh, I'm something of a puzzle enthusiast myself. <laughs> uh. I wonder what happens if we rest. Does it stay gone? Does it reset? Yeah, no, it's gone, gone. Alright. Yeah, it's probably one of those things where there's, like, hints in certain areas or something like that. Because I feel like those both of the messages that were nearby didn't really tell me much of anything. Unless I was just not reading into it enough. But I don't know. Leave the dungeon. Or hear me out. What if it's intentional that they don't give us anything, you know? It's like one of those things where it's fabled to be some of the best... The best loot in all the land. But we'll never know. Where's the other one? Hey, a trait point. Mind's eye. <laughs> There's like something big groaning around here, man. I keep on hearing it. All right, we're in uncharted territory now. Yeah, I looked up the bells, too. Like, there's a boss fight, uh, which you can, like, lull a giant wolf to sleep and not fight the boss, and it gives you, like, a different thing that can be turned into a different weapon. And I looked it up, and I'm like, how would you know? It's like, how would you know to do that? Like, <laughs> and you've seen me play this so far. I kind of explore everything, and I got nothing out of it. The only thing I think of is the the bells that were uh, in that one cave, but that's that's about it. But if that's a if that's a randomly spawning thing, you might just never ever know what those bells lead to. I don't know. Like I said, maybe there's like a, maybe there's like a special thing to that, but I don't really care enough, to be honest. <laughs> Once I pressed down one of them and it just completely dropped one piece, like the legs, I was like, all right, well, <laughs> I'll take a quick look around and if we don't get any information, I'll just call it, <laughs> just start hitting everything. Oh boy. Alright, let me go upgrade my armor. Maybe I'll start getting some hardened iron. Maybe that's the kicker. It wants you to upgrade all your gear all the way until it starts giving you other equipment. But I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'm not in the mood for chatting. 
I'd like to see your wares, please. Uh, okay. So... Alright, well, everything is upgraded as high as it can go now. Hive Cannon, Petrified Maul, Ruin, and then all my Slayer stuff. It's all maxed at this point. So if it doesn't start giving me Hardened Iron soon, we're going to have a lot of problems on our hands. How do you see what your item score is? A medium encumbrance, apparently. Hello, founder. Ah, uh, just checking in. <laughs> I was going, just thought I'd say hey. Go get another drink soon. Alright, usual cave system going on here. Oh cool, they got little like rat goblins. Ow. Charcoal necklace, huh? Fire damage. Okay, well. Nope. Seeing a lot of forged iron. <laughs> a lot of galvanized iron. So after this game, what's the next one? I think I'm going to be doing Journey to the Savage Planet with, uh... With Gilded. Man actually tried to do a drop kick. In fact, we were supposed to do that before this, but uh, he had a last minute. I'm not going to be in town for like three days. All right, Gilded, I have all my stuff maxed. Oh, there are these guys, huh? All right, well, consider it done. Still getting nothing. Do you have to upgrade all of your gear? Not just the stuff you're wearing? Yeah, he really sent it too, man. Like, it's one of those drop kicks where, you know. Oh, God. Little, little goblin, dude. Little goblin. <laughs> ah, he's armored in the face. Ow. Okay. I gotta give it to you, man. Ow. Alright. Get bead. <laughs> Ow. Ha. 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 <laughs> There we go. Didn't have to be so rude. Ooh, it's over. 
Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Skaven. Yeah, no kidding, huh? They are kind of like the Skaven, aren't they? That's one, uh, that's one series I eventually want to play through, is the, the Total War Warhammer series, man. Ha! Ah, the rats! <laughs> But uh, if we do that, I'll be doing a, uh, I'll be doing like a voting poll in Discord um, with all the different factions. I think there's going to be, <clears throat> I think there's only going to be like one or two factions that are going to intentionally be uh, not included, like the, uh, especially in one, like the raiding factions. Just because they're so different, and I've I've been told they're best to play after you've already kind of played through the game at least once. And I played through Orcs a long time ago. I never beat it. I got I got absolutely just wrecked by the uh, <laughs> the second coming of the dwarves. I finally got them all taken care of, and I was like, yes, the thorn in my side, gone forever now. And. Uh, and they were like, oh yeah, not only are we back, but we're back with like, ow! Ow, you little goblin! <laughs> no, we're fine, plenty of health. Didn't expect him to drop. Don't yell. Okay, I did, just didn't want to didn't call it anymore. Guess what? Think that's going to help you? Get bead. Problem is you have to you have to stay in there. But uh, and as I was fighting the the second coming of the dwarves, where they spawn back in with like three full banners, um, like two turns later, I get hit by the chaos. Ah, I'm always early on that thing, man. Oh my god, do you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> These guys suck. There we go. There we go. But I've got all three of them, but I've only played the first one. Um, and like I said, I got to like round 70 or whatever it is when, uh, when chaos attacks. So I had a whole bunch of dwarves just like, just tearing me a new one mixed with um <laughs> like two full banners of chaos showing up in the badlands and i was like this is not this is not gonna end well and i you know i was right dude it, it's it didn't end well <laughs> i lost everything so i like playing escape lizard Man and uh zinch You know, I don't really know how on earth our dude is able to continue reloading while rolling, but I gotta say, uh, like, that's impressive, man. All right, I'm still just getting all the regular iron stuff, man. That's a shame, but it seems we'll never get our hide and die end. But I can say that we tried. Maybe we, maybe we do need to upgrade everything. I mean, I'll be broke. I'll absolutely be broke. I've only got 17,000 on me. And when you have to spend a couple hundred <laughs> just just to get a couple of upgrades, I don't think it's going to work out that well for you. I've heard Skaven were a lot of fun. Um, there's a mod somebody did for the Lizardmen, I think, in the second game that apparently is absolutely phenomenal with the way they incorporated all of it. 
It's like a whole separate campaign in the uh, in the Total War universe, and I've heard it was really good. But I can't tell you the name of it. It's been too long. Cosmic Vent, huh? Giant Lizard? No. Regular. It's not even a lizard. I keep on wanting to call them lizards. They're rats. Oh, it tracks you. Alright, I know you're gonna call for help, so uh, get bead, brother. There they are! Oh, there they are! Nate out! Dude, they follow you so much. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> Drop kick. Oh my gosh. The the following of of who I am as a person. Bro? Brother? You don't want any of this, brother? Yeah, I get bead. <laughs> wow. Wow, he hits hard. It's totally snitch. Die, die, stupid man thing. Bright. All right, well, like I say, we tried. All right, instead of trying to be her while she's up there, or him, I don't really know. What's it even called? I just went the wrong way. I'm so distraught. We just need to make sure that they can't sit there and throw their little daggers at us that take two thirds of our health away. Like, look at that. Like, I can't even outroll that thing, man. Like, look at that, man. Like, you can't even roll it. Yes, taste the power of the bees. Get bead. Ow. Dude, that's so dumb. Out. Is he coming? Watch out! Ow, dude! Like you can't, you can't outroll it. You actually can't outroll it. Like, you're going to guaranteed get hit by one.
Where are you going, man? Okay, didn't expect that one. Man, you keep on going for help every two minutes, don't you? It's, uh... Not a, not a super good time if you sit there and you go for help every four seconds. Oh, maybe if I roll forward, it'll, it'll work. Like, 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 what do you do? <laughs> They track you way too heavily for as much damage as they do. I almost did the same thing. Like, look at that. Just like fully around a wall, man. Especially when she comes down here too, man. <laughs> 